She messaged me a few times over the last few months saying she missed me, but the other day she asked me back. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to hear a story title My ex girlfriend dumped me, but now wants me back. Will I regret saying no? Was she abusive? And guys, this story is about a guy. He's 21 years old. His ex is now is 22. And no surprise, things start going bad in the relationship thanks to her. And really, it's because of her. And she breaks up with this guy. However, it isn't long before guess who's back begging for a second chance. Or at least approaching getting back together. And when this guy pretty much says, nope, not happening, that's when all the begging and the tactics happen and all that. And that'd be very good one to go over here, guys, because you're going to see in the story as I, descri- as I read it how bad she treats him. And it sounds like, now I don't know everything going on behind the scenes, but obviously she runs the relationship. Obviously he's a guy who doesn't think too highly of himself, so he puts up a lot of BS. And she blames him for everything. There's no making her happy. As in, guess what? You often can't make them happy. But you're going to see this guy obviously doesn't think too highly of himself. And this is why I talk about all the time, particularly my other channel, Strong Successful Male, which you all should subscribe to right now if you haven't done so already. Why I'm so big on self-improvement. Working hard, all guys working hard to improve themselves. And by doing that, you feel good. You feel great that you're achieving goals and improving your life. And by doing that, because you're feeling good, you're less likely to allow people in your lives that are going to take advantage of you, treat you like crap, etc., etc. Because when you feel bad about yourself and you're depressed and feel like you don't deserve much in life bullies slither in and take advantage of you. And I'm sure maybe some of you guys have personal experience in this. And if this guy wasn't feeling so bad about himself early on, he went a lot in his life. But anyhow, you're going to see, obviously, how this whole thing goes and how, well, it's nice to see he doesn't take her back. And, of course, all the whining and carrying on from her and the tactics she tries to take and all that. <clears throat> it says here, uh, a few weeks ago, my ex-girlfriend and I broke up. We moved in together and things had taken their toll. How interesting. They moved in together and that's when things started going downhill. That's why I tell you to move in with your girlfriend. It gives her way too much certainty and makes things easier for her to stick around and pull bullshit. And they're way too young to do that. Oh, no, yes. Smack. Smack for moving in with your girlfriend so soon. I previously posted on here about our arguments and her behavior towards me during those arguments with myself being called all sorts of names by her in the heat of the moment. And that's grounds for a breakup. If your girlfriend can't communicate with you like an adult, but she has to throw insults at you and everything, call you names, no, don't put up with it. Rewinding two months ago when things finally came to the forefront, she went for a weekend away with her friends, which was not planned at all, so not anything particular out of the ordinary. Oh, which was all plans, nothing out of the ordinary. But she did return saying that she felt like we were always arguing and we're in an awful place in our relationship. I agree, and I said how I wanted to make things work somehow. We could sit and talk about it and try to work things out. Okay. She comes back from her little girl's weekend saying how things aren't too good in the relationship. Maybe she's sabotaging things because she wasn't being too good on her girl's trip. And he said, okay, let's sit down, talk things out like adults. Well, she's not quite the adult. She was unsure and said, how many times we've tried and the same arguments keep happening. I understood, but she held a distant, pissed off attitude towards me for the following week. Okay, remember, he tried to want to talk things through. But instead, she's going to say, oh, it just never goes anywhere. And she's going to be pissed off him all week, punishing him. I'm sure she's a, a, a delight to live with. This is not good relationship. This is not good girlfriend material. Break up. Uh, things seemed to th- things seemed to then change. She was unhappy with me and said that I don't treat her as a priority. <laughs> well, what happens when guys treat their girlfriends these days as your well as a priority? What happens? It doesn't end well for the guy. She said I do nothing around the house and that the only way it will work is if I change my behavior. Well, what about you? You aren't uh, at fault here in this relationship. I have to do all the changing because it doesn't sound like to me that you're willing to change anything or work things out or talk. But of course, he's the bad guy. 
Honestly, this is confusing me. I was working three days a week for 10 hour shifts each time and going until university for two days a week. The other two days were for us to spend together, but there was many on occasion where I would plan a date, book a table, and I would get to that time and we, we, we would go and she would say, we can just stay home tonight. This is fine. But the consistency of this happening did hurt because I was trying to put in the effort. Okay, three days he's working 10 hour shifts, going to school, trying to make time for her, making plans. It's never good enough for her because there's no making her happy. She's fucking miserable. For me, the final straw came when she had a job interview. I purposely got up early. This is one thing she had a problem with as I work late at night, so I usually slept in, to make her breakfast and iron her top. Dude, you are being too fucking nice and account. I get he's trying to do nice things for her, but the more things he does for her, the more pisses her off. She sees him as weak and she's angry at him as uh, being in her interpretation as a pleaser. And she's an a-hole, doesn't deserve this. I did all this, she seemed happy and, and, and although she was stressed, I could see it helped her out. Then that afternoon, I just, just as I was about to leave for uh, work, I wished her good luck and she said, I don't know why you're doing this, we're not together. Excuse me? Since when did we break up, honey? I was visibly upset and started tearing up. Smack! Never let him see a cry. Because although it wasn't out of the blue, due to our argument, it was for that day. And the timing of it, just as I'm about to leave for work, it hurt. She told me to, to be a man and accept the situation for what it is, instead of getting emotional and making her feel bad. Not my intention, but yes, I would have fought for her until I had nothing left in me. Smack! Fought for her. How many fucking romantic movies have you seen? And what is it worth fighting for? She treats you like dog crap. Okay? But can you tell this guy's young, 21 years old, obviously not a whole lot of life experience, doesn't think too highly of himself. Why? How do I know this? Because no guy with any level of self-worth and who has a lot of options with women and confidence in himself would have put up with this crap. This is why I bark and carry on harp on guys about self-improvement. I eventually went to work, came back, and she had the same attitude. Well, I'd say you need to change your attitude, honey, or you can get your little ass out the door. I asked her if she still loved me, and she said, not the same way. And I asked if she had told anyone we weren't together, and she said, yes, her friends. Of course her friends know everything's going on. This hurt me. I built up the courage to say, okay, then I'll move out. And that's really how I, if that's really how you feel. She started crying and was upset, saying she's sorry. She thought we'd last forever, and the whole situation is shit, but necessary. I then went home for the weekend. So this immediately says I'm moving out, and she starts in with the waterworks. We thought we'd last forever. What? Why would? Why would any sane guy stay in this situation to last forever? This is a miserable relationship. I think this girl is like off her freaking meds, or needs to be on some meds, or, or something. I called her three days later, giving her some space. Smack! You never chase after someone that's dumping you, or, or breaking up with you, or pushing you away. No. That only shows her that she can keep treating you like dog crap. And you'll keep coming back for more. No. I said I'm so sorry for how we ended, but in a, ended up in a rut, but maybe we could try and work things out. Smack! Stop apologizing. You keep trying things. And it only pushes her more because she women know when they're being a-holes. And she knows. And when guys apologize for them, guys apologize even though they're being treated like crap, that makes them even more furious. She said no, that by calling her, I was trying to manipulate her and make her feel guilty. In other words, I'm the chief manipulator of this relationship, sir. Uh-uh. Takes one to know one. This hurt because it absolutely was not my intention. I then met her the next day and moved my things out. Good. Get away from this nut job. She was so emotionally cold and distant, it made me feel like crap. <clears throat> I do uh, I do the fact that she deals with emotions in this way, though and perhaps this was her way of dealing with it. Anyway, I said my reluctant goodbyes and I moved out. She's a cold person. You obviously care about her. She doesn't give you the affection you want, need, or deserve. So, no, it's not going to work. Fast forward two months. Hmm. Gee, what's going to happen next? Christmas has passed, and it is New Year. She messes me a few times over the last few days saying she missed me, but the other day she asked for me back. Of course. 
What do you think's been going on the last two months? Do you think she's been locking herself away in her apartment like a nun? Or do you think she's been getting having all sorts of fun during the holidays with her girlfriends, if you know what I mean? Something tells me she's probably had her fair share of bad boys and Chad and Tyrone and realize they're not the types that are going to be boyfriend material, so now she's back for this guy. And probably also needs someone to help pay the rent. Because Chad and Tyrone ain't going to pay the rent. She said she wants me back because she realized that I treated her well and looked after her and that no one else is like me. Translation, no one else is going to treat her well, help her, be good to her, all that. Nah, too late, honey, you had your chance. I was a bit shocked. She also took on some responsibility for the failings of the relationship after previously stating that we broke up that she hopes I know that the failure of the relationship was all my fault and I took her for granted. But now her tone has completely changed. Holy crap, she's taking ownership of maybe it's not all you that made the relationship go to hell in a handbasket. You think? He is the one that wants want to talk and try to work things out, but she is the one starting all this drama all the time. So she must be pretty freaking desperate. Now, now listen to this next part. She asked me if I'd been with anyone, and I said I hadn't. I then asked her, and she said, that's none of your business. And I said that she was just, and I said, she just asked me. So immediately she's getting an attitude with him. Oh, well, he's not seeing anybody else. I can start being bitchy again. None of your business. You asked me. Of course I'm going to ask you. And I guarantee you she's, there's been other people. But she then replied with, it's different rules for me, remember? <laughs> this reminded me of all the pain in the relationship I had previously been through and frequently hit and, and, and the cold outbursts that she would have. The name calling when she was angry at me. She used to call me prick retard, C-U-N-T, no one even half sober would have S-C-X with you, you're punching above your weight, and I don't know why you think you can do better than me. These are all the things she said to him when she was having a bad day, probably whether her monthly friend was visiting or just simply just she was pissed off about something. Does this sound like a girlfriend material to you guys? Relationship material? She's fucking miserable. And this guy, because he's so worn down by all this, or at least he was, he put up with it all that time. No. Click. Goodbye. The second she broke up with him, he should have ghosted her, cut her off at all social media, blocked her on the phone, everything. I remember the time she treated me with complete and utter disrespect, and I accepted it. The worst being after taking her out shopping when she was already moody with me, and her choosing a dress to which I said, that looks nice on you, babe. Her reply being, well, hopefully someone else fucks me in it. Again, off your fucking meds. I think this chick is bipolar. This along with her throwing my shoes out the window because I dropped a towel on the floor and I was disrespecting the flat. To her saying, I'm patronizing for asking her if she needs help with cooking. To her calling me selfish because I put a pizza on the top shelf of the oven when she might have wanted to put something in there too. She's nuts. But also... She's just, there's just no making her happy. She's a miserable person. And, and I'm sure by her treating him like crap and him not either ending it with her, pissed her off even more, and she wanted to punish him more. Women do this, even whether they're nuts or not, to guys that they treat like crap and act weak. I remember all this and decided to reject her advances. Good. Now block her. Despite her wanting me back, and at times her being sweet, incredibly, and beautiful girl who have a connection with like, with like no other, and trust with all my heart. I just couldn't put myself through it. Smack, smack. Trust with all your heart? A girl that calls you a C-U-N-T, and you're punching above your weight, and all these other things? First girlfriend? First lay? No self-respect? Again, guys, this is why I'm so crazy about the self-improvement part. Oh my God, she's terrible. Once I told her no, she said, okay, I'm going to go on a date then. And I said, okay, if you feel like like fast, you need to do that to move on. She then replied saying she doesn't want to go on a date and just wants just me. Too bad, bitch. I said, that, that's too much. Too much has happened and none of us have changed and too much to suggest will be any different. She then started sending photos by text of me and her and me and her family. Um, that sounds manipulative. Remember the girl said, uh, don't manipulate me when he was calling her about after they broke up initially. Now she's doing all this, but that's okay. She, remember I said she's the chief manipulator. 
It was awful. It made me feel so bad. Um, she knew that. She's manipulating your emotions. This was followed up by more messages the next day asking her why I don't want her back. And she uh, thought I cared more about her and would take her back again. But I again reiterated that it doesn't feel right. This was hard enough for me because I loved her so much. But something in my gut was saying her behavior towards me it was, wasn't right. And although she can be amazing and have such a deep connection and trust with her, is that enough? What part of your relationship ever was amazing that you could trust her so much? Really? If this is why she, this is partially probably why she treats you like shit because she isn't so amazing. You keep taking her back. Oh my God. No, dude. I, 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 I guarantee you this is probably the first woman he's ever been in love with, slept with, and he just doesn't know anything any better. And probably, where's his friends? Where's his family telling him to get away from this crazy nut job? Anyway, fast forward to today. She sent me photos of girls, girls photos I had liked on Instagram and told me to F off. This one confused me because she had dumped me two months ago and the photos I liked were all from 10 days ago. Am I not allowed to like these pictures? I haven't replied. I'm very conflicted for some reason. Yeah, well, smack for liking those girls' pictures on Instagram. Do you think those girls are going to like you now because you're liking their pictures on Instagram? You're just validating them. That's what nice guys do. Stop liking pictures of girls on Instagram that don't care about you and only want the attention and validation. See what I'm talking about? This guy, this guy needs help. Should I take the chance on reconcile? Smack. No. Do you just want to be treated worse? She'll treat you worse. She said she thought you'd take her back. That's why she left you. And, and I guarantee you, she was. I guarantee you she was cheating on this dude long before she broke up with him. And then obviously things didn't work out with her lovers when they were apart. Now she's back and thought he'd take her back. I'm scared of regretting not taking that decision. It seems to be the dream scenario when your ex wants you back after dumping you. And if she asked me a month ago, I probably would have said yes. Any help with this would really be helpful. I'm struggling quite a lot and can't seem to make a decision and stick with it. Thanks for the help and advice once more. Uh, for more information on the relationship, my previous posts cover it all very well. I think we got the point, my my friend. We got the whole deal with her. She's a miserable a-hole. She's probably bipolar. She's got she's got definitely freaking issues. So, bro, no, you do not get back with her ever. You cut her off completely, and she doesn't leave you the f alone. You take action that needs to be taken here. You need to focus on your school, focus on your work, hang out with. Do, I mean, do you have any friends? Do you have any people to hang out with? Spend time with them. If not, join a club, join something, start talking to people, making friends. You can't make her your whole universe. And that sounds like what you've done. You're obviously a decent guy and I'm sure likable, but you're weak or at least you've been weak. You're sh finally showing some strength saying no. And so good for you. You're improving here. And we can all get a good laugh and you can feel great that she's not chasing after you and doing anything to get you back after she effed it all up. But she's coming back to you because in her mind, you'll always take her back. Her perception of you is you're weak and you'll take her bad back no matter how bad she treats you. And you cannot do that because I guarantee you she'll go back to treating you like dog shit immediately and she'll be cheating on you and this will happen again in six months. So no, end of story. And guys, you can learn from this, you relationship guys. If this sounds something like from something familiar to what maybe you're going through right now in this moment or maybe you did recently and you're on a breakup with your girlfriend... Don't take them back. It's going to be worse. No matter how much they cry and promise you the world and act charming and all that and remind you of the good times and show you pictures of them and the family, whatever. Don't do it. So, bro, good luck. Good for you. You can have. You can end this knowing that you had the last laugh, her coming back after you and chasing after you, and that's great. But if you take her back, it's going to be miserable. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let this guy know what you think. Seriously. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.